it don't read though my country people everybody they collect woto woto from the hashtag end bad governance protesters yesterday some group of protesters invaded the former president Mohamed buhari's residence in daura castina state they were seen blocking the road linking to uh, daura and castina as they protested against bad governance so guys we know that august 1st nigerians commenced the nationwide protest against the federal government led by president Bola Tinibo. Now, the, pre- the protest recorded success as Nigerians trooped out to express their anger, to express their frustration in several states as well as the federal capital territory, FCT Abuja. This comes amid despite warnings and appeals from Tinibu's ministers and threats from the security agencies. But guys, it can't be like say these northerners are doing very well in this protest. Like they took this protest personal. They took it to heart because it's obvious that the Southeasterners are so quiet. They are so mute over this protest. A lot of people have been giving concerns over the, the quietness of the South Easterners concerning this protest. I was like, what's happening? This is the same Northerners that refused to protest against Yeyadwa. They were the ones that refused to protest against Buari. But they protested against Gulag Jonathan. They protested against Bolad Med Tinibu. So the thing is, there have been a lot of questions surrounding the South Easterners' uh, you know, refusal to propose because many people said that the South Easterners, they are Igbos. They are not included in this government. They did not vote for this government in the first place. So the Northerners should go ahead and, and protest because they were the ones that voted. Also, the south, the southeast, the, the 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 southwest people can as well go and protest because they voted this government into power. That Indibo did not vote APC, Indibo did not vote Tinibu, so they should leave Indibo out of these protests. So, uh, when you go to the southeast region, everywhere is quiet in the southeast region because of the protest. And a lot of warnings have been coming to the southeasterners that, you know, they should not involve themselves in this protest too, so that they won't be used as a scapegoat this time around. So everybody is just minding their business in the southeast region. After all, it does not consign them. Because at this point, if any southeasterner should come out and protest, they will say it is Peter Obi that sent them to come and protest. So everybody cuckoo day their lane. But when I see this not an ass, now then carry this matter for head. I was quite uh, taken aback when I saw you know protesters stormed the former president Mohamed Buhari's residence they were protesting i say ah ah what's happening they even went close to the emir's palace in daura so it seems that buhari received a warm friendly visit it was more like an august visit from these northerners they paid buhari an august visit and fortunately it also you know uh comes along with the august 1st uh, protest so guys, it's interesting though. Know, this is the same Buari that ran to Daura that says he doesn't want to be disturbed. But these northerners came and blocked the road linking to Daura and Castina State because they were expressing their dissatisfaction with the APC government. So Buari is also feeling the heat. Tinebu is feeling the heat. The protesters are now setting fire near the residence of uh, the former president Mohamed Buari in Daura, Castina State. They even tried forcing themselves into the house of the former president, Mohamed Buhari. So guys, it's interesting, you know, a lot is really happening in this country. This is the same Buhari that ran to Daura that said, ah, he doesn't want to be disturbed, though. nobody should probe him, he wants to stay on his own. Nah, nah, Buhari there on his own, jeje, je, je. people can't find him, protesters. Guys, this is interesting. So my country people, um, a lot of Northerners have really shown you know their support of this protest in solidarity with other regions they protested furiously they protested with all their might and although the protests had turned violent because uh when you see in states like kaduna kano some people were killed you know the peaceful protest turned into a uh, a violent protest but then they decided to pay the former president a visit because they felt okay it was Buari that handed over to Tinibu. So 
they had to visit the past and the present. Guys, everybody they collect water water this time around. Nobody's nobody's excluded from this uh, from this uh, protest. Nobody. The past administration, they are also seeing it. The present administration, they are seeing it hot hot. I was quite taken aback when I saw that protesters got to Buari's house in Daura. I say, ah, what I don't pass Gario for for Northerners to go ahead and protest close to Buhari's place. Ha. It's it's to show that they are really, really serious about this thing. You know, that they are really, really serious. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Um a lot of people have been coming out in mass to protest against the hardship, the hunger in the country, um the insecurity and all of that. People are making demands that Tinibu should bring down the price of fuel. But you see, uh, in some states like Lagos or Jota, uh, the Nigerian police had also, you know, tried, uh, you know, working with the people in other places like Abuja. They've shown some force because according to viral videos, uh, the police in Abuja were shooting tear gas at some persons, the likes of um, the likes of very dark uh, man, very dark black man you know, in Abuja, and Deji Adeyanju were protesting, and they had wanted to approach the, you know, uh, the Eagle Square before the police started throwing, uh, you know, these uh, tear gas on them. And this happened after Very Dark Man made a video complaining that Wike does not want them to protest, that Wike is telling the police people to fire shots at them. And, you know, it, it was very bad because people came out in masses, to protest and you are using the police to fight them off what does that tell of you you know it sells a message that you don't have uh you know sympathy for for nigerians nigerians are saying enough is enough the people are coming out to stand against corruption against bad governance in this country and then the people earn their voices you are sending a you know police to to rat them out to throw tear gas on them and then at the end of the day, people get to lose their lives over fighting for the interest of Nigerians. It's really heartbreaking. You know, it is heartbreaking. Nigerians are great and Nigerians are good people. I'm so glad that people are coming united, you know. At least this hunger don't catch everybody. Because politicians are fond of dividing the masses. But now, hunger has united everybody together. Who would have believed that the North would protest and revolt against the APC administration. Nobody would have believed. But now look at the massive turnout of protesters. When you go to the north, you see that they are serious about this. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.